Kilometers from the start of the romantic road in Würzburg is Rotenburg ob der Taube. It's tiny and it's world famous. It boasts just 12,000 residents, but as many as two and a half million visitors each year. Until recently, tourists were able to explore the city of Rotenburg with horse-drawn carriages, but that is now forbidden due to animal protection. But there is a replacement: bike taxis. Instead of a horse, it's Georg Lele who provides the horsepower on this sightseeing tour, though he does get help from an electric motor. He drives tourists around town in his rickshaw. Rotenburg was on a major north-south trade route, and that route is now known as the Romantic Road. So the tourists traveling that route automatically end up here, in our town. People from Japan and the United States make up the biggest number of visitors. An absolute must for tourists to this quaint town is Käthe Wohlfahrt's shop. It's a year-round Christmas market with all kinds of traditional ornaments. 30,000 products are in stock, including the ever-popular wooden pyramids. Rotenburg ob der Taube also has some splendid, proud houses that bear witness to the town's erstwhile wealth. One of them, the Eisenhut House, has been a hotel for 120 years now. In the 1950s, it was popular with tourists exploring the region. It was considered one of the most luxurious hotels in West Germany. It's grown since then. The four-star establishment now occupies four 16th century townhouses. This is one of our deluxe doubles. We call them the patrician rooms because these houses used to be the homes of patricians and they used to live in these rooms. Not the ones overlooking the valley because these ones are bigger. And the owners wanted to be able to see what was going on out in the street. The hotel has 78 rooms. The style is traditional and fits well with the ambience and architecture of the town. Many buildings in the center of Rotenburg date back to the Middle Ages, and they've been wonderfully preserved. You can still walk along the top of the famous town wall. Our journey resumes not by car, but by bus. This charming model used to ply the romantic road regularly. 20 kilometers south of Rotenburg is an impressive castle on a hill, Schloss Schillingfürst. Of course, modern buses are now in service along the route, but this one at least makes it nostalgic. Our next stop is Feuchtwangen in the western part of Bavaria. For more than 60 years in the summer, the Benedictine monastery here has been hosting an open air theater festival. One and a half million people have attended since it first began. The festival here was founded in 1949, so it's just a little older than the Romantic Road. But how do the two go together? This is a very romantic place. And this is a very romantic stage. We put on a lot of Shakespeare. And I've chosen as a theme this season, romanticism. So for now, at least, the theater festival and the romantic road go extremely well together. 
The Shakespeare play they're doing this year is The Merry Wives of Windsor. Another highlight is a stage adaptation of Alexandre Dumas' novel The Three Musketeers. It took a lot of rehearsing to get the fencing scenes right. Those who travel the romantic road between June and August should definitely visit the Festival of Feuchtwangen here. Plus, you can get really good chocolate right next door from the official German chocolate master. Mm. Ah, a mellow evening in Feuchtwangen before the journey resumes on the morrow along the glorious romantic road.